Hello everybody, today we will be learning BZT input and output characteristics using PSPY software. Here we are going to be using a common base BZT having base resistance RB and character resistance RC. VBB here denotes the base to emitter voltage and VCC here denotes the collector to emitter voltage. Now let us look at how the input and output characteristics looks like. The input characteristics is defined as the variation of base current to base emitter voltage for constant character emitter voltage and the output characteristics is defined as variation in character current to character to emitter voltage for constant base currents. Basically, we will be checking for what variations in input current and input voltage does the output voltage vary in input characteristics and in output characteristics, we will be checking for what variations in character current and character to emitter voltage the input base current changes. Now let us look at its implementation with the PSPICE software. Let us now simulate input and output characteristics of the BZT using PSPICE. For this, we need to first build the circuit on PSPICE software. For that, we go here to place items and then we choose our components. Our first component will be resistor, the PZT. This is Q2 N2222. You select it and place it here. Press escape to deselect. Then let us take our resistor sets R. R place one here, one here. Let us also place one emitter resistor just, just for us to be sure safe. We, we press Ctrl R to rotate the element and then put it down. Right, right, left click and then press escape to deselect the components. Next, we will choose our V D C that is uh, DC voltage. Setting one here and one here. Let's go. In the end, just to tie it all up, we use ground. Ground earth. Place and then keep it here. Let's go. Now close this tab. Close this tab. Now let us build circuit. Now so to look at it properly, we will select this magnifying glass which fits with everything to page. We will be using this line marker or draw wire to to connect the components like this. Okay. No. Okay, this is how our component in the end looks like. Now let us name our components. We'll, we'll, we'll rename this one RB since it is a common base in uh, VJT. This will be our RC, current is character resistor. And this will be our RE, emitter resistance. Similarly, let us give values. Let this be 200 ohms. Let this also be 200 ohms. And this will be 20k. High resistance because IB is very high or yeah, more value. Let us uh, name the voltage system. Since this is base to emitter voltage, we will name it as VBE and this as VCE. Okay, so now we have named our circuit and given the components. Let us now save it before giving the values. We will save this as we give VJT. Okay, now we will go to setup analysis DC speed. Here, strip type variable type is voltage and speed type will be linear. All we have to use linear. Since we are doing input characteristics first, if you remember correctly, input, input characteristics is defined as a variation of base current to VBE for constant values of VC. So, first we put VB. So, we start value can be anything 0 volts, 2 minutes say 2 volts, increment to 0.2 volts every time. Nested sweep, which is nested sweep, again linear, again voltage source. Nested sweep is to maintain VCE values. So VCE, start value is 0 volts. End value you can give maybe 1 volt with 0.1 volt variation. Very important to enable nested sweep. Click OK. Close it. Before you close, just, just see. Before this checkbox was not ticked, I would have ticked. And then close. Go to this current marker and place on the IB. Since we need IB, that is base current, we put on the base terminal. 
and now this is minute so it happened directly instead of going to have to go into tool trace and putting it the graph happened directly this is for the input characteristics now for output characteristics and it is with the output characteristics for output characteristics we need to change this base to character because if you remember correctly output characteristics is variation in ic to vce for ib values we don't need ib value right now we need ic versus vce you should also remember that we need to change the sweep values that is go to dc field change the variables name here vce because we need vce this time you can keep same values or different values it is fine let's start sweep now we be 0 to 1 mode point 1 mode enable ok close simulate now you can see output characteristics it is as shown in the graph so these are the input and output characteristics using pspice so this is how you simulate DJT input and output characteristics using the pspice software hope you understood it please like share and subscribe see you again in the next video bye bye